Hey everyone, Leo with Dreaming Tree, and welcome to the assembly video for our reindeer Christmas card. Now this is one of six cards from our new bundle. And just like the other ones, it's a very simple little paper piecing card. And you can see here, I've kind of put things together beforehand, just so that I remember how everything goes together. And all we're doing is literally just putting these layers on top of each other to create the final result. We're gonna start with this layer. So you wanna find this piece here. Okay, and this is the piece that goes on top of it. So look for this one here, it's very similar. It just has a few extra cutouts so that as we kind of layer it and build it, certain little areas show through and others don't. Okay, so we're gonna put glue on the back of this one here. And these go together very quick. I actually did three of them last night in probably about, oh, 30 minutes. So actually probably less than 10 minutes a card, I'd say. So you should have no problem getting all of your Christmas cards done for the upcoming holiday. Okay, so if you have a little brayer, definitely use that just to kind of get everything in place a lot faster. Okay, next you're gonna grab this piece here and just like we did, just very, very simply apply glue to the back of this piece. Just work the perimeter and then we'll do a little bit on the inside as well. Just like that. And we'll pop that into place. Now I'm kind of looking at this little area here as uh, my, my focus point, my focal point. And then obviously you want to make sure that everything else gets nice and centered as well. If you have a little bit of glue that kind of seeps out, just pick it up with your finger before it blemishes your project. Okay, so this is the next piece here. Okay, so look for that. And this is the only one <clears throat> that is a little bit different. And when I say that, what I mean is instead of everything just being layered, um, there's actually an overlay right at the end. And that was just because we wanted to give uh, Rudolph, in this case, we wanted to make his nose uh, a little dimensional. We didn't want it to be recessed. Okay, so that's that. Get that rolled on, and this is the final large layer. So you can see how quickly these cards go together, and all of the cards in this set are very similar in how they're assembled. Okay, now on this card here, we do have these little areas that are kind of, they're a little bit more um, fragile, so you want to get a little bit of glue on these little areas here so that they don't accidentally rip. Okay, so let's just get that lined up. Now this paper, this top pattern piece is actually from a uh, DCWV, it's a LeBlanc stack, and it's very pretty. <clears throat> has just a very subtle pattern on it so that the face of the card can be white with just a little hint of little hint of sparkle or shimmer there. You can see that in the light. Okay, so as I mentioned, this one's a little bit different. So this is uh, Rudolph's face here. Now you'll notice on this white piece that there are a series of little markers here and here, and that's just to help you get this uh, aligned correctly. So just make sure that after we put glue on this and you get ready to place it, make sure you line it up with the little markers there. Okay. Just like that. Perfect. And then you'll also notice just some little markers here for his nose. So let's grab our glue. And again, this is the only one that has a little piecing like this because we didn't want his nose to be recessed. We wanted it to stick out. It's one of his, one of his key signature features is his cute little nose. Okay, so that's it. That's it for this. And now here is our card base. Now one thing you want to look for on the card base, and I need to find it here. There it is. It's very small. The machine's going to cut little 
um, just little dots here. There's one here, one here, and one here. And those little dots correspond to the point here, the point here, and the point in this valley. And that's just to kind of give you a rough idea of where it needs to go. Now, obviously, you want to visually inspect this and make sure that the, in my case, purple border is equal on both sides, okay? And we're actually going to use some foam squares to give this a little extra dimension. So this piece is very rigid as it is. So you probably don't need to overdo it with the foam squares. Now typically when you're using foam squares and if you have just one or two sheets of cardstock, it may kind of bend or bow, but you can tell I'm pushing down on this and it's not even bending in. And that's because it's, well, I think it's five layers thick. So I think this is gonna be um, plenty of foam squares for this piece here. Now you can glue this down flat if you want. That's also an option, not a big deal. Okay. And again, just matching it up with the little cutouts there, the little notches, markers, whatever you wanna call them. And there we go. Okay, so that's in place. Beautiful dimensional card. Okay, now we have this piece here. This is where you can either stamp, write, or have your machine write the sentiment. And I'm just gonna put some glue on the back of this. My gold foil piece um, kind of has a very slight valley right here. It's kind of like two little bubbles. You wanna just take this piece and align it at the top like that. So it's flush at the top, flush on the sides. And it kind of creates like a, a little shadow element in uh, the gold section below there. Okay, so we're gonna take that and I'm gonna use my, I'm gonna use my mat to help me center this. Okay, and we're also gonna put some foam squares on the back of this. Now, just to kind of keep this sturdy, I'm actually gonna use three. I don't think it would bow in the center, but I'm gonna use three just for good measure. Okay, and make sure that the white part is at the top. Okay, I've got this centered on my, on my mat here, and that is my center line there. And we wanna place that right in the center. You wanna to try to keep the spacing between the bottom and the actual reindeer portion as even as you can get it. That looks pretty good. I gotta kind of lift this up a little bit and bring it up a tad. There we go. Okay, so that's that for the card uh, face. And then on the inside, we have this little panel. And this is where you're gonna write your little, write your little message. You can do some stamping. You can have your machine write whatever you want. Plenty of room to write your little holiday greeting. And just make sure that when you place this, you try to maintain a nice even border all the way around so it looks nicely framed. There we go. I'll take my brayer and press that down. Okay, so that's pretty, pretty quick and easy, as you can tell, and it's very cute. And it's got a good weight to it too. So with every card from Dreaming Tree, we also include a coordinating envelope, okay? Now, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna glue this little uh, panel inside here. I'm gonna start by actually putting glue around our holly. I'll show you why here in a second. Okay, and then maybe just one there down the center. And then I'm gonna take my glue and put it around the perimeter of this section. Now I don't wanna put, I didn't wanna put glue on this whole thing in here because I don't know where not to put glue. Because when we put this down, if we put glue in the wrong spot, it's gonna show through a little cutout of the holly and we don't want that. Okay. So pop that down, give that a good press. Okay, and then to finish up your envelope, you simply wanna take the two side flaps, fold them in, and just do a thin little line of glue right along the inner edge here, the perimeter here, and then fold it up and press that down. Okay, and that's it, very simple. The envelope takes 
a few seconds, and then you can see how perfect the envelope is for our card, and that is ready to go. And um, to finish this off, I've got some, uh, we're going to take and put some rhinestones right here, actually. If you want to cut out, if you don't have rhinestones, you can always cut out um, some red circles if you want, but it definitely would be cool if you added a little bit of bling. And you probably should put glue on your rhinestones because the little sticky that they put on them is not always the best. It may not, may not endure the post office or even just you carrying it and hand delivering it. This is a for sure way of making sure that everything stays intact. Okay, so just put three of them pretty much in this sort of arrangement. So that's it. Very simple card, and that is pretty much it for our reindeer. Hope you enjoyed the process. And if you make this or anything from our new bundle, I would love to see it, and so would the rest of our community. So head over to your Facebook and do a search for Dreaming Tree Group, or you can type in this little URL here at the bottom. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys have fun uh, Christmas card making, and as always, I look forward to crafting with you again. Hey, thanks for crafting along with me. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, check out some of our other videos, and also please consider hitting that subscribe button. And don't forget to visit our site and check out our free SVG section where we have over 140 free SVG files complete with assembly videos. I look forward to crafting with you soon.